In 2007, I was 16 years old and I was driving home one night and I didn't even make it a block before everything just stopped. The emergency team had arrived not expecting anyone to be alive in my car because the whole driver's side was smashed in. A week later, I woke up in a hospital room and I had no idea how I got there. As I was going through a green light at an intersection, there was a car who had swerved around a car stopped at the red light and hit me going between 60 and 70 miles per hour. I had been T-boned on my driver's side my seat plowed over the console onto the other side of the car, and I was sent to ICU. My condition started to be stabilized, but they still didn't know if I would ever wake up or have full brain function or walk again. I was only in the hospital for nine days total, half of that being in a coma, and I was sent home with a back brace and a wheelchair, and then received permission to start using a walker for short distances. After the two months, I was able to walk on my own without any assistive devices. Initially, after the accident, everything was just a giant burden on my life. I was very active before the crash, and so then waking up and not even being able to roll over onto my side was very discouraging. I looked at my situation, and it was the closest thing to a prayer that I had, but I said, God, this sucks, but I have to deal with it, and so I will. I'm going to overcome this. I'm going to regain my physical strength. Even though I had started walking and I looked like nothing had happened, I had severe chronic pain, particularly in my back. I continued to push it. I didn't think that pain mattered. I wanted my life back. I was miserable trying to fight on my own. But during that time, I made some really great friends who were faithful, and I saw that their lives were different. There was just a simplicity to it. I didn't think that I could have that peace and that joy that I saw in other people. Over time, I started to make an effort to set time aside to pray, reading scripture. I started a thankfulness journal and every night I would write a few things that I was thankful for and I found that on the days that were more difficult I had more to be thankful for. Through all of this I started to form a relationship with God and realized that he actually did want to be a part of my life and that even though I couldn't do what I could do before, I could do whatever I was supposed to do. And to just be patient that he was with me, that whenever it happened, it would be good. I had had chronic back pain for six years, and I was on a pilgrimage in Rome after being in immense, immense pain. Had mass in the room that St. Ignatius of Loyola had died in, and I received Jesus in the Eucharist, and I went back to my spot. I was just kneeling there, just thanking him for all these things, and then I realized that my back didn't hurt. I never anticipated what it felt like, and then it was just gone. I knew that it was miraculous. Then we got on a train and we went to Assisi. The following day, we would be hiking a mountain to the Hermitage of St. Francis. I hiked the mountain, and then I was running down the mountain. I was so excited and just free of pain, and it was beautiful. Four years later, back is still good. I did the Camino, hiked 225 miles across Spain, and I've been running and playing soccer and just doing whatever the Lord is calling me to do. Because on our own, we really can't do anything, but with Him, we can do all things.